Welcome back, guys. We already saw a failed all-in from Major. A little bit scary uh, situation there. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, Major can pull it back together. We're going to go into game number two. The both players are ready. Are you ready? Tasteless, I am so ready. I want to see Shakuras Plateau. Can Major come back and take a game off Liquid Tyler? I'm interested in seeing if he's going to do the quick command center play. We'll find out. Let's start the game. Head to head here. Major down one game in a game where I don't think so much Tyler won as Major lost. Mm. Uh, pretty rough setup. We're going to see if Major can come back or if Tyler's going to uh, close this out with basically a 2-0. The game is loading. We're going to throw that up on screen for you. Tyler against Major here at the MLG. Let's do this. We have here in the red from TeamLiquid.net, Liquid Tyler, a great player in StarCraft 1 Pro. Over here in the blue, we do have uh, my little recruitee, a great StarCraft 1 player, the champion of Mexico, in fact. Uh, he is Six Jacks Major. You know, Major, easily the best Mexican uh, StarCraft player of all time. Actually, the best Mexican of all time. Yeah. And I mean, they, they actually Mexican had some ever. great players too. You know, they had Blast, Stim, uh, quite a few good name players, but definitely Major reached a level none of them ever did. Major just has so much potential here. It's good because he's so young, he's so ambitious, and yeah. so excited to see somebody like this out here at the MLG having success, doing so well. Well, yeah, you know, it's his first MLG. He's top 20 already, came out of that open bracket. And uh, it's, it's exciting to see if he can manage to take Tyler down. There's a very good chance he's going to have a seed. Yeah, it looks like it. Now, they're both at the bottom spots. Originally on this map, there were destructible rocks in this location. If you follow me on the screen here, there were also destructible rocks here. So you could do pushes into the main. Since then, the map has been modified, mm -hmm. and um, it's a little bit more doable for some of these players. If we take a look at Major's base, no gas, no gas yet. We're going to see if he takes one in a second here. I don't think he will, though, because his normal style is to go ahead and make a one barracks expansion. And he's going to most likely do that here, and that's really where he has the most success, when he enters into a macro game. So the SCP will scout this probe blocked off here. Note the depot is only at 45 HP. Yep, just making that so the probe cannot come in and scout. Very good move by Major. Does not want uh, Tyler to actually know. But when you see the wall in, oftentimes that means uh, either a cheese or a fast expansion. So Tyler, I think he's not going to change his build anyways. He will probably just go straight up to a robo, get his observer over at ASAP, and scout exactly what Major's doing. So we will see a quick command center here. It is going to be major standard build. I think major really regretting that previous game. Again, he did lose that. It was not Tyler who won it. It was really major who lost it. Mm. You know, the build was quite interesting. We normally don't see that all in with cloak. Normally yeah. you just get the banshees for harassment. You just get, but, uh, you get the banshees afterwards. You know, I think that it was. it's kind of interesting with cloak because let's say that they play any style that doesn't have a quick robo in it, then that cloak is going to turn out to be quite great. Yeah. So, kind of interesting. Uh, the Very way that interesting. Went down. So we already do have an expansion going up for Major. Two more barracks being made. Now, will he get another barracks, or will he go gas? That is actually the two different ways this normally goes down. You either go four barracks marines, or you get some gas. Okay, so he's going to get some gas, so just a mid-ranged uh, amount of units. tab we can see is making a robotics facility so he's going to just be playing his same uh standard strong style and the thing is uh again i play very similar to tyler in this matchup uh, not exactly the same but we both prefer this very quick observer build yeah and this is the one build you don't really want to see with the observer this is the one build where you're like well okay i'm still fine but you do have a pretty quick economic lead you know, I'm spending all this money uh, teching up to get an observer. I'm getting three gateways before my expand. So, you know, this is this is the one where you're like, mm, you know, I would I wish I had scouted something slightly different. Well, what it is is um, it's a build where you end up scouting and finding out that you're sort of a little bit behind. Yeah. At least you know. Well, you're behind you economically. Yeah. 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 Uh, definitely not like a build order win or anything like that. It's uh, just you know one of the least favorite builds to see with this. Right. Right. 
But uh, Tyler's build can absolutely deal with anything in the current understanding of StarCraft 2. Yeah. 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 So, Our show's so, so good to be down here with you at MLG. It is. Tasteless. It's good to be back stateside. You We've are casted, the best. You're the best. We've casted so many games here together. Mm -hmm. I've actually lost count. How many I, games have we actually commented together? I, you mean to... You mean all, the, the overall past? Overall in our lives. Oh, a God. A million, two million, a billion, I would, a gorillion. I would actually say it's probably over 600 or 700 games. That's insane. Does that sound right? There's something wrong with us. <laughs> There's <laughs> something wrong with Why us. Why are we casting so many Something's games? Something's terribly wrong. Actually, it might be more than that, though. It's a lot, man. But even down here in MLG, we've casted so many games together. By the way, double forward. And this is perfect. Picking up over here. That is exactly what you want to do when you scout what he's seen from Major. If your opponent is ahead slightly economically, what you're going to want to do is stay in your base for a bit longer. You can't really go take a third because you're behind economically. You have to get a nice group of units. And the best thing to defend, to do while defending, is to really push your upgrades forward. So yeah. perfect, perfect response from Tyler, of course. He plays this style almost every game, so he really knows the ins and outs of it. Tyler is such a good player. So excited to see him down here. Indeed it is. Haven't seen him in a while, man. One I know. Bestest buddies. We know. We knew him back when he was out here in Korea uh, with us. Of course, he went back to the States to get married. Um, and now he's back here. Yeah. Gaming it up. Attempted to, you know, go deep into this tournament. Yeah, he's already uh, doing okay. You know, he did take out Select in the group rounds, but had a hard time with everyone else. He's been in a little bit of a rut lately, but uh, definitely still a top-end player. Getting his Twilight Council now so that he can keep those Forge upgrades uh, moving. And he's executing his build perfectly, Tasteless. Major, uh, in the meantime, just getting all his upgrades as we see. Teching up. Just a very standard uh, safe build. And I really hope, you know, he has his one engineering bay right now. I hope as that finishes up, he decides to uh, start plus one armor and get an armory and a second eBay. Because if he doesn't, Tyler's going to hit 3-3 when he's at like 2-1. Well, yeah, and Prodosk that's and, bad. Protoss and Krona boost out the upgrades, and that changes everything. That's the only race that can actually play catch up when it comes to upgrades. Yeah, that's, that's quite true. And a huge strength of Protoss there. Now we do see another command center. So Major... This is actually really nice, uh, really well done. That's going to be a good choice against what Tyler's doing because he's spending so much money on his upgrades. His economy was a little bit behind. Now it's about caught up. Uh, that Major can actually take another base and feel pretty okay. He just has to watch out for when Tyler ends up with about two Colossus and two two. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, looks like Major's going to come out here. This is generally done so that Terran can expand and Protoss has to stay inside of his base. You can't be... Uh, how should I say this? You can't rush into an army and use force fields in this case if, yeah. if, if you have a choke position. Yeah. So that's what he was doing. Looks like he deems the situation safe, has a marine parked over here. And soon enough, we're probably going to have a command center set up uh, at the expansion. More than likely over here. You know, I love as you click around, Tasis, when we see turrets just all over the place. He can catch yeah. observers. It's going to stop DT harassment. It's, uh, it's quite nice. Well, Major is such a good player. There's a lot of character when you're watching him play. He's one of the few guys I watch where I really see mm. the character in his style, you know? That's that's actually a good way to put it, Tasis. For instance, in StarCraft 1, uh, you know, the top players, we'd see them and they'd all have such character that you could literally not tell us you know, who, who it is, but you watch them play and you're like, oh, I know who this is. Yeah. Because they... And that's starting to happen in this as well. Uh, Noni is, or rather Tyler, is definitely like that. Uh, Hydra is like that. I feel like Major is becoming like that, where you look and you're like, I think I'm pretty sure who this is. Yeah. But yeah, character and uh, gameplay. It's one of the beautiful things about StarCraft 2 is in the sport. Well, you know, one thing that's so great about StarCraft is you, you watch it and you can see how deep the game is. Mm, There's really true. no limit to how far you can go. So much potential. Yeah. There's the sky's the limit, tasteless. Uh, we do see the third base of Major going up. He is up in supply, about 20 right now, but that's fine, actually. Uh, Tyler is not in trouble at all. His build uh, is a little bit slow in getting the supply because he spends so much money on upgrades. Now Major coming over and just kind of poking and prodding. He's not going to be able to kill Tyler anytime soon. Tyler is getting charged for Zealots. He has 1-1. One, 2-2 one. Two, two is almost done, whereas Major is only at plus 1. He's going to have 1-1. One, one. At the same time, uh, Tyler finishes 2-2. Two, two. 
And Major's going to have to be very careful because 2-2 two -two timings with this build that uh, Tyler does are very nice. Yeah, it's pretty scary. That's actually what he works up to. As he hits 2-2, two -two, he has 2-3 two to three Colossus, and he walks over, and he hurts you a little bit and expands again. Looks like 2-2 two -two is complete, unless I'm mistaken. It yes, is. it is. It's just finished up. And, and he's not even actually upgrading anymore. Yeah, so there's a very a specific bit. timing attack that's meant to wipe out this army and tear this expansion to shreds. And he's actually been playing uh, almost this exactly for months and months. He's, he's had this build mapped out for a long time, so he's going to know every little thing about it. And here he goes, Tasteless. This army is so fearsome. 2-2 two -two against 1-1. One -one. That is a huge upgrade uh, deficit for Major. Major, I think, may have to just sacrifice this expansion, run away from it, because I don't know if he if he can really take this out. You know, these 2-2 these two -two units with the charged zealots and everything, ooh. It's going to be very, very hard. He's going to wish he had a Whoa, 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 whoa. what is he doing with this Colossus? Oh, wow. I think he didn't think he had Vikings right there. And he, I think he just found Observer as well, which is going to make Tyler a little bit Yeah, unhealthy. he may wait for this pylon to complete. Probably pulling Chrono Boost. He is indeed on his next eye, his nexus. S -s -s -s. <laughs> and uh, he's going to warp in a bunch of units and probably going for the kill. We're going to see. Yep. Here Let's we go. See now. That's a lot of charge zealots, Tasteless. This is going to be very hard for Major. In oh fact, my God. beautiful little surround there. Sends his uh, zealots to the side so that Major cannot run away. But the Colossus are taken out. One bad force uh -oh. field over here. Yeah, that's him. blocking that a lot of zealots. The game. Tasteless, uh, Major has a lot of units here. Took out those Colossi. And Tyler really, oh my God, adding insult to injury. Dropping his mules right there. I'm going to have to have a talk with him as his team captain to stop doing that, man, because Tyler isn't dead. You know, he's got yeah, some great upgrades. Yeah, what I was about upgrades. to say. It's like, I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea. Well, you know, Tyler really actually almost defeated himself I, just like the previous game with that force yeah. field there that, I, where the Zelts didn't do the damage. Certainly, uh, he did mess up with the Zelts a little bit. But, oh, and we do see a drop there, as you said. Um, but actually, now that I look around, he's, that, that was almost all in-ish. I mean, he has great upgrades and everything, but normally Tyler will expand with that as well. You know, he'll go over in pressure, but he'll make an expansion so that he's still in it. But right now, twice the supply for Major, 145 to 73. This I was about to bad. say, Major <laughs> is in such a position that all he has he's to do is sit ahead. back. <laughs> all he has to do is sit back and make stuff. By the way, you know what? What? You know what I like about the internet stream? What? No one boos us. <laughs> when we make our... Uh, we can make a corny joke. Yeah, we can't yeah. hear them. No, that was so funny yesterday. That was hilarious. <laughs> Actually, to be honest, doing the live um, the stage stream is a little bit funnier, though, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. But it's a little bit more laid back here. Oh, hold that thought, though. Now, if this doesn't work for no one, or rather, Tyler. Yeah, he has to take an expansion still. It's good. The game will end. Uh, plus three attack just about to finish. Plus two attack for Major is done. And those Vikings do a great job. Boss is almost dying there. He's very deep red, and uh, Major pushing Tyler back. I think we're going to be going to uh, a it game three taste. GG right here. Yeah. Oh, both go down. Nice snipe by Major. GG. And GG. What a game. Pretty yeah, intense. That was uh, that was really interesting because Tyler actually executed his build very very well, but it then he the decided attack. he decided not to. Uh, yeah, he he all in with the attack. Normally, what you'll do with that is go up pressure, push a little bit. You know, see what your opponent does. Of course, Major played quite well against him by getting that third so quickly. Uh, but I feel like Tyler should have, again, just pressure a little, poked with his Colossus some, kept him alive, go back, because he should be expanding during that time. So, We're going to go to a quick commercial. We'll be back in a little bit and see who's going to be the victor between Major and Tyler here at the MLG in beautiful Columbus, Ohio. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> 